In the last video, we stated and proved the uh, Rao Blackwell theorem. And in this video, we'll take a look at an example to see how it might be applied. So let's start out with a random sample from the Poisson distribution uh, with rate parameter lambda. And we will think about a sufficient statistic, the sum of the xi's. And we'll note that the sum of the xi's, we've shown this before, has a Poisson distribution with rate parameter n times lambda, where n is the number of values that we're summing up. Now, in a previous video, we looked at uh, the distribution of x1 uh, conditioned on uh, x1 plus x2, and we saw that we got uh, a binomial distribution with number of trials y, where y was equal to x1 plus x2, and uh, probability of success lambda 1 over lambda 1 plus lambda 2. And we're going to see that this will generalize. So if we were to sum up not just two random variables, but uh, n of them, and if we had each of the random variables having the same distribution, so they were iid and not just um, as they were in this example, just independent with different rate parameters, things will look uh, a bit nicer. So if we wanted the distribution of x1 conditioned on, say, s of x, the sufficient statistics, sum of the xi's, this would have uh, a binomial distribution y, again, where this is our y, um, with probability of success 1 over n. And the reason for that is if we think about lambda 1 being equal to lambda 2, then in this case, this simple case, we would have um, basically something over 2 times that something. And so we would have 1 half as the probability of success. Well, if you have more random variables that you're summing up, the probability of success will just be, uh, you know, 1 over n instead of 1 over 2. So we're going to use that fact in just a bit. Um, but remember, the context of the Rao Blackwell theorem says start out with a crude estimator and then condition on a sufficient statistic to make things better. So let's start out with the crude estimator uh, t of x is equal to just x1. That's quite crude. That just means take the first data point that you see and let that be your estimator of lambda. Well, Rao Blackwell says that we need to start out with an unbiased estimator while the expectation of x1 is, uh, is, is lambda, so it's unbiased. Now, according to the Rao Blackwell theorem, we define T star to be equal to the expectation of T of x conditioned on the sufficient statistic S of x. Well, we said above that T of x conditioned on S of x is binomial y 1 over n. And so the expectation here will be uh, y times 1 over n, or y over n. And we've called y the sufficient statistic, so that's the sum of the xi's. So this is really just equal to 1 over n times the sum of the xi's, which is, of course, x bar. So what we've shown is that if we start out with a crude estimator, just one of the sample points, so one of the members of the sample, as our estimator of lambda, well, it's unbiased. Now take the expectation of that crude estimator conditioned on the sufficient statistic, and you get what we know to be a good estimator, namely x bar. 
So that's great. The last thing we might do is just confirm that we get something x bar that has a lower variance than x1. Well, of course, the variance of x bar is, in this case, lambda over n. And that's certainly less than the variance of just x1, which is equal to lambda for n uh, greater than 1.